What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mike Avelli, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. None other than Sai Guru himself. How to discover your passion in just two days. That's crazy, because I remember when the, uh, the, the COVID thing first hit, and it was the whole government shutdown. A lot of people didn't know what they were going to do. A lot of people didn't know what they were good at until that happened, and then a week or two go by. People are hitting me up like, Mike, I'm good at this. Mike, I'm good at that. People that created entrepreneurship in the business who were just working a nine to five before the COVID thing hit, you know, the whole government shut down. Now they have businesses now all of a sudden. That's a great thing. But without further ado, man, let's get it. If this is a worthless life, throw it somewhere. If this is a precious life, what do you want to invest this life into? Without the any kind of influence, somewhere you must stay by yourself, at least for two, three days. And look at it, what is it that I want to invest this precious life into? But you must understand, what you want to do is just a thought that you generate it and it's not even yours. It's, this is a wrong way to approach because you will have everything and you will have nothing in the end with life. That one thing if you give up, I'm telling you, you'll live a very poor life. See, if you're a fool, you will do something that you don't like to do. Yep. If you're an exactly. intelligent person, you will do what you love. I am not somebody who ever deba debated, is this the right thing to do in my life? How do you find out what you should be doing? Sadhguru sheds some light on this important question. Have a look. For every one of you, your life is precious, isn't it? Hello? Yes. It's a precious life. If something is precious, where do you want to invest this life? Into what do you want to invest this precious life? If this is a worthless life, throw it somewhere. If this is a precious life, what do you want to invest this life into? If you look at it this way, you will find something truly worthwhile to do. If you think in terms of how to earn a living, how to get this kind of thing, that kind of thing, then you will do something silly that you will regret for the rest of your life. Most people are a regret. That's why they're going around joylessly because they're not doing what they want to do. They're not creating what really matters to them. They're doing something for a living. L earning a living is not a big deal for a human being. Every creature, every worm, insect, bird, animal is earning their living, isn't it so? With such a big brain, what is the big deal about earning a living? But unfortunately, because of ten to twenty years of generations, not years, ten to twenty generations of poverty in this country because of external op occupations and invasions and stuff, because of that people have gotten into this mode, how to earn a living, how to earn a living, parents are constantly grilling their children, how will you earn your living? With such a big brain, when an earthworm can earn its living, such a big brain, is earning a living a issue? No, what is it that you're going to create? This precious life, where are you going to invest it? Are you going to invest it in something that's truly worthwhile or are you going to throw it away as a worthless thing? This is the important thing because what… Once again, find something, you guys, that's important to you. Find something that you're passionate about doing. Like I say, that whole time during the whole shutdown thing, people who didn't even know their true talent were hitting me up. Mike, I'm good at this. I found out I was good at this. And it, you know, it's an amazing, trust me, you guys would be surprised. You guys would probably want to quit your nine to fives if you realize, oh, hey, I'm good at this. I could just capitalize off of that. 
trying to give you guys some pointers here, you know? And I say it to people all the time, but people just say, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then they, <laughs> then they continue on being miserable, but hey, no. What can you do, right? What you call as my life is just a certain amount of time and energy, isn't it? So time is going away. So this energy that you call as my life, how are you going to invest it because it's going to get… if you're doing something truly worthwhile, it gets over before you know what happened. Only if you're doing something worthless, it feels like a long life. Joyful people, life goes away like that, as if it's a couple of days, it passes away like that, if you are creating what you really care to create. So, one thing that every young person should do is, without the influence of the peers of your own age group, without the influence of your professors and your parents, without the any kind of influence, somewhere you must stay by yourself, at least for two, three days, and look at it. What is it that I want to invest this precious life into? What is it that will be worthwhile today and worthwhile after fifty years for me to invest myself into? You invest your life into that, whatever it is. However small, big, it doesn't matter. If you see that this is something truly worthwhile and you invest your life in that, this will be a life of fulfillment. During a Youth and Truth program, Sadhguru addresses what is the most needed thing in life. Let's find out if you have the most needed thing in your life. See, there are two ways to approach your life. Either I want to do what I want to do, but you must understand what you want to do is just a thought that you generated and it's not even yours, it's something that you pick up from around you. Well, there may be certain aptitude. So one is aptitude. Do you have a certain aptitude towards a certain action? So are you thinking in that direction? Or a whole lot of people today are deciding what to do depending upon what they will get out of it. Yep, exactly. What will I get? Will I get this kind of lifestyle? Will I get this kind of salary? Will I make this kind of money? Don't worry about all of that. Worry about… See, if you're worrying about those things, you're pretty much setting yourself up for failure because a lot of the times when you are so busy focused on the end result instead of the process and instead of you doing this because you love doing it, it ends up not only not being fun to you, for one, two, it doesn't, it seems like it's actual work, like a nine to five job rather than something that you love. Three, it's like, you know, if I don't see no end results of this by tomorrow or next week or next month, I'm just going to quit. So you see what I'm saying? Like you have all those things that's, you know, that you're putting in, that you're expecting, you're putting your expectations too high and you don't even, you're not even really passionate about this. You're just doing it to, you see what I'm saying? Guys, got to make sure what you, you know, this is something that you really love to do, whatever it is. Money and lifestyle, this is what they're thinking of. This is a wrong way to approach because you will have everything and you will have nothing in the end with life. Yeah. You must not do something because he's doing it. You must not do something because he's not doing it. Right. This is not the way to decide things. You're investing your life. If this life is precious, you must see what is it that really matters. It just dawned on me, man. I don't mean to keep pausing, but it just dawned on me. Prime example. You have a lot of females now and today that were once upon a time innocent girls, females, or even innocent 20, 21 year olds, right? Or even 18, whatever. A lot of those have OnlyFans now. So you see what I'm saying? But but my point is they're only doing that because they see another female is doing it. You know, this is not something that they want to do. This is something that they feel like they have no other choice but to do. In other way, in other words, an uh, online job. That's pretty much what it is for a lot of the females that just do it just because the other girl did it and the other girl before her did it and the other girl before her did it.
it's created this notion of, well, hey, if she doing it, she's doing it because she might actually like doing it. Who You don't know. <sighs> this is the problem with bandwagon people. You don't know what this person's been through. You don't know their history. You don't know the reasons why they're doing what they're doing. And it could be their only re result, you know, to get some money. You know, that could be their only result is to get some money is from OnlyFans for some females. But for the others who just like to tag along and say, hey, I'm going to do it just because she did it. You could actually be good at something that could be earning you more money than OnlyFans. Is, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> God, this world is lost. They're lost. Everybody's trying to be banned. Everybody's trying to be like somebody else. That's what this whole world is revolved around now and today. Everybody's trying to be like somebody else. Everybody's trying to be a rapper because this person's a rapper. Everybody's trying to be a famous TikToker because this person's a famous TikToker. Everybody's trying to, you know, of course we have idols, but at the same time, it's like, dude, you can actually be good at something. These people who are doing it, they probably been through, you know, the road of I've tried this, I've tried that, I've tried this, I've tried that. I just don't know what I'm good at. I still don't know. So I've tried this and I've tried that. And nothing worked out for me. So OnlyFans might be my only means of income. But that doesn't mean that you have to follow in my footsteps. I'm surprised females like that don't even be saying nothing to the up and coming, you know, OnlyFans. No. Just, uh, just spread some awareness. Just because I did, don't mean you have to do it. That's like, yeah. Y'all get it. <laughs> you. And you yeah. must do that. It doesn't matter. It pays, it doesn't pay. But believe me, if your heart is not in something, really, you will not do your best. Exactly. You can't possibly do If you don't do your best, how will great things happen to you? See, whether it is art, music, design, business, Sport, spirituality, politics, it doesn't matter what it is. If you are not absolutely devoted to what you are doing, you will never do anything significant in your life. That's for hundred percent, I'm telling you. You may earn a living, but you will not do anything significant if you are not totally, totally devoted to something. So, the question is not about what you want to do. The question is just this, can you be devoted to this? Let's say you think in terms of today, if I invest my life, next twenty-five years, can I be devoted to what I'm doing right now? Will this matter to me? Will I feel fulfilled if I look back and see what I've done? Something. You do whatever the hell you want, just do it well, that's important. And don't do any damn thing that you will be ashamed of doing tomorrow, isn't it? What other people say, once again, a lot of people do this. I don't understand. You won't even really be liking what you're doing. Like I say, you're just bandwagon. You're doing it because somebody else did it. So you figure you could come up too. Not even really knowing. For one, this ain't something that you like doing. For one. Two, you're not passionate about it. Three, you're expecting to get where this person got, even though that... You're not as passionate about this like the other person. So now you're left with a whole bunch of big expectations and you get nothing out of it. And you're wondering why you haven't made it or why you because that wasn't your true talent or true something that was that you were passionate about from the beginning. Especially if you quit just because your end results aren't happening overnight. So. But yeah, if you have to do something that you don't like doing, and that goes against your morals and principles, and you and you regret it tomorrow, yeah, it should wake you up. As far as no, hey, that should tell me something off top. Just because that person did it doesn't mean that I could do it. It doesn't matter, but you should not be ashamed of what you have done, isn't it? So. 
Northeastern is empowering me to make an impact in environmental policy. Hello? This much you must keep, this much pride and freedom you must keep in your life. It doesn't matter, the whole world says you're wrong. But you are not ashamed of what you have done. That much you must always keep in your life. If that one thing, if you give up, I'm telling you, you'll live a very poor life. Yep. You may have everything, but you'll have nothing. Yep. If you are joyful by your own nature, what I want to do is not important. What is needed right now, you will do that with absolute devotion. So, if you can be devoted to anything that you do, what does it matter? What does it matter? You will do what is most needed, isn't it? You must do what's most needed actually. I think somewhere else I said, see if you're a fool, you will do something that you don't like to do. If you're an intelligent person, you will do what you love. But if you really want to be a genius in your life, you will do whatever is needed with absolute joy and involvement. It's no more about me, because you can do anything with total involvement, so what's the problem? I'm sorry? Right now design, <laughs> <laughs> there are… <laughs> there are two ways of looking at design. When we say design, we may be thinking of designing a building or clothing or something else, material stuff. But the most important thing is, your life must be designed right. You must be a designer life, yes? Design… designer life means or designer anything means, it's just the way you want it. Your life must be a designer life, isn't it? It must happen the way you want it. It doesn't matter whether they approve it or not, it must happen the way you want it. This can happen only within you, because outside, outside world is not completely mine or yours. Little will happen my way, little will happen your way, this is the way it is. But what's within me must happen my way, isn't it? This is a designer life, because I design my thought, I design my emotion, I design my experience, I design my chemistry every day, how it should be. So, you must have a designer life. In another talk, Sadhguru explains what is the right thing to do in life. There are no right things to do in life. If you choose something and put everything that you have into it, it'll become a great thing. Is it the right thing? Is it the best thing? When you say, is it the right thing, what you're asking is, is it the best thing to do in life? There is no best thing to do in life. And today you're here, one day you'll be poop, gone. What do you think is your duty to this life and to every life? Please tell me. Hmm? You are a brief life, you are a brief life. I want you to just imagine, you've seen those insects which come when it rains, you know, ants which fly. Suppose you were that. You just came alive, gone. That's what you are. Just compared to the span of your life, the insect's life is looking so meaningless, and poop, poop, poop and gone, that's what the rivers are thinking about you, poop, poop, poop and gone. <laughs> yes or no? Compared to their lifespan, you are just like that insect or less than that insect, isn't it so? But you don't know what the insect is thinking, but at least you, I want you to think and see, it's a bloody brief life. Suppose you remembered one hundred lifetimes of coming up, flying around, falling in love, reproducing. Suppose you remembered hundred happenings like this, would it become meaningless? Because of loss of memory, everything is looking fresh. So are you doing the right thing? I don't know, sir. All I know is this needs to be done and those who do it, with all that they have, will find fulfillment.
I am not somebody who ever deba debated, is this the right thing to do in my life? What was needed, I jumped into it. Right. Because if you are a constipated life, you will always be thinking about what to do, what not to do, what… And next thing you know, you have not made not one single move. Because you're so busy on the fence of, oh, should I go this way? Should I go that way? Is this good? Is that good? Is that not good? What's it? Just go with what you know. Just go with what you love. Just go with what you... It's very simple. Otherwise, if you're not the type of person that thinks like this, it probably is going to be hard for you to do. But if you are, it's like, come on, man, get it done. You know what you got to do. You know what you were put on this earth to do. So do it. No ifs, ands, or buts. But if you're somebody who's on the fence all the time and indecisive and debating, yeah, you're going to be at a standstill for a minute. Next thing you know, you've went your entire life not do sitting on the fence, not going left or right or straight or in reverse, whatever, you know? What to do, what not to do, what is my passion, what is not my passion? Why the hell are you not passionate about everything? Why are you not passionate about everything in the existence? You're only passionate about one thing, means what? You're constipated, that's what it means <laughs> I don't even have to tell people that this must happen, this must happen, this must happen. A few things, yes. Rest of it, I just make it up in my mind and I know it must happen and it will happen. Not because... not because I am exercising my will over the world, because I am just fulfilling the will of the world, that's all. Doing something with utmost devotion brings the utmost satisfaction. Click on the video link shown above to see more from us. Are you doing the right thing in your life? What would you like to see in the next video? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. That's the end of that video, man. If you guys like this video, give it a fat thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, of course. I know he said the exact same thing, but too much. Um, yeah, man, hopefully you guys learned something, man. You know, life is, well, you know, just no different than what I said in the previous video anyway. You know, life is short, man, so you got to make sure that whatever, whatever you want to do, just do it, man. Just do it. Don't make no excuses. Don't sit up here and reflect hard as if it's rocket science about, should I go this way? Should I go that way? It's very simple, man. But Machiavelli gang, we up out of here, man. I love you guys, man. You guys have a blessed one and a safe one. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.